Welcome to our video exploring the golden era of comedy TV shows from the 1980s. In this nostalgic trip down memory lane, we will dive into a time when laughter reigned supreme on the small screen. Join us as we revisit iconic sitcoms, hidden gems, and unforgettable characters that brought joy and laughter to millions of viewers. Get ready for a glimpse into the comedic brilliance that shaped television in the 80s and left an indelible mark on pop culture. Seinfeld, 1989. Seinfeld is often regarded as one of the greatest sitcoms of all time. Created by Jerry Seinfeld and Larry David, the show followed a fictional version of Jerry Seinfeld, a stand-up comedian, and his eccentric group of friends in New York City. Known for its unique format, Seinfeld emphasized the mundane aspects of everyday life and humorously explored themes such as relationships, friendship dynamics, and societal norms. Married, with children, 1987. Married, with children was a controversial sitcom that went against traditional family-oriented shows at the time. It focused on the dysfunctional Bundy family led by Al Bundy, portrayed by Ed O'Neill, a sarcastic shoe salesman who often complained about his unsatisfying marriage to Peggy, Katie Seagal. Full of dark humor and satire, married, with children pushed boundaries through its portrayal of flawed characters dealing with raunchy yet relatable situations. Cheers, 1982. Cheers was renowned for its brilliant ensemble cast and witty writing. Set in a Boston bar named Cheers, it revolved around bartender Sam Malone, portrayed by Ted Danson, and his colorful group of regulars. The show's heart lay in exploring their personal lives while providing sharp dialogue and comical banter among both staff and patrons alike. The Wonder Years, 1988. The Wonder Years captivated audiences with its nostalgic charm. Narrated from an adult perspective by Kevin Arnold, Fred Savage, the show depicted aspects of American suburban life during the late 60s and early 70s through Kevin's coming-of-age experiences along with witty observations on family dynamics, friendships, first loves, societal changes, making it relatable to viewers across generations. The Golden Girls, 1985. The Golden Girls showcased four vibrant older women living together as roommates in Miami. Dorothy Bornick played by Beatrice Arthur, Blanche Devereaux portrayed by Rue McClanahan, Rose Nilland played by Betty White, and Sophia Petrillo played by Estelle Getty. With sharp writing, the show tackled topics such as aging, relationships, friendship, and societal attitudes towards older women. Its blend of humor and heartfelt moments made it both laugh out loud funny and touching. Mystery Science Theater 3000, 1988, Mystery Science Theater 3000, MST3K, was a cult favorite that revolutionized comedy through its unique concept. The show centered around a man named Joel Robinson, Joel Hodgson, who, along with his robot companions Crow T. Robot and Tom Servo, was trapped aboard the satellite of love forced to watch B-grade movies. MST3K's comedic brilliance lay in the characters' hilarious commentary and mockery of the films they were subjected to. Police Squad, 1982, Police Squad, was a short-lived but highly influential comedy series created by David Zucker, Jim Abrahams, and Jerry Zucker, the trio behind films like Airplane. A parody of police dramas like Dragnet, it followed bumbling detective Frank Drebin portrayed brilliantly by Leslie Nielsen in his signature deadpan style. Packed with wordplay jokes, slapstick humor, visual gags, and absurd situations, Police Squad set a new benchmark for zany comedy. Tales from the Crypt, 1989. Tales from the Crypt brought dark humor to television screens through its anthology-style storytelling based on horror comics of the same name. Hosted by an animated Crypt Keeper character, voiced by John Kassir, each episode delved into macabre tales featuring elements of horror mixed with ironic twists or black comedy endings, often leaving viewers simultaneously amused and unnerved. Full House, 1987. Full House captured hearts as a wholesome family sitcom focused on widowed father Danny Tanner portrayed by Bob Saget raising his three daughters, DJ, Stephanie, and Michelle. With the support of his comical brother-in-law, Jesse, John Stamos, and best friend Joey, Dave Coulier, Danny faced the challenges of single parenthood. Full House was known for its feel-good moments, lessons on family values, and light-hearted humor. 
Alf, 1986. Alf followed the misadventures of an alien life form named Alf who crash landed in suburban America and took residence with the Tanner family. Voiced by Paul Fusco, Alf brought mischief and humor as he adjusted to Earth's customs while trying to avoid being captured by government agents. The show blended elements of sitcom comedy with science fiction fantasy, offering a light-hearted take on extraterrestrial encounters.